Hi, I'm Gary Holtz. I'm a backend engineer for the code review team here at GitLab, and I'm one of the maintainers of the GLab CLI tool. Uh, I wanted to give a quick demo of the stack diff feature that I've been working on. Stack diffs, if you're not familiar with them, are a workflow that focuses on making small incremental changes stacked on top of each other without needing to wait for reviews. Let's see an example. Let's pretend I'm making a big feature in my app. We'll edit our GitLab CI file. Now that we have a change, we can use the glab stack new command and create a new stack. Let's give it a quick title. And now we'll save the work we already did by using the glab stack save command. We'll describe the change we just did. And we have our first stack. You can see we've gone from the master branch to a branch glab automatically created for us based on the title. So let's make another change. Then we'll run glab stack save again, but this time we'll pass the M flag and specify the message. You can see on the prompt that glab has made another branch for us. Let's make one more change. And we'll run save again. Okay, that feature seems done. Let's get these changes on GitLab. Anytime we want to sync with GitLab, we can use the command glab stack sync. The sync command behind the scenes will push your branches to Git and create merge requests for each one. The last change we made is its own merge request, and it's pointing to a branch with the previous change. You can also see that this merge request is only the final Go file we made, which makes it easier to review than if we submitted them all into one MR. Uh-oh, it looks like my evil twin has already reviewed our first change and found an issue. That's no problem. Let's go back to that change with the glab stack move command. We're presented with a fuzzy finder and a list of our stacks. It looks like the one we want to move to is already highlighted, so let's just hit return. Now we can fix the issue. Once the branch is fixed, we'll use the glab stack amend command to update the stack. This command will also give us the option to change the description if we want. Okay, let's run another sync. If we go back to the browser, we can see that the change has been applied on the first merge request. But all the subsequent merge requests have also been updated with a rebase, so we still only have the original changes for that branch. So we still end up with three easy to review merge requests. All right, that's a quick summary of how the stack command is going to work. We'll be adding lots of nice additions to this over the next few months, but feel free to add any suggestions or comments to our feedback thread posted with this message.